All right. Hi guys, my name is Tina and this is going to be a review and at the same time a mini tutorial for an everyday fresh makeup. This is for all you college students and at the same time for the minimal, um, minimal makeup people oh. out there. If that makes but this is literally for everyone who just wants to look fresh on a daily basis. I've barely used any products for this tutorial. It's mainly focusing on lips and cheeks. Basically, normally how I would want it to be is that I look flushed and alive. So meaning I would like some blushed cheeks and some rosy lips, which is what I have right now. And all I'm using is just one product which is the sephora matte lipstick in blooming rose and coral calling i want to specifically focus on these two products because i've been using these non-stop for the past um when did i get it? two weeks or so i also use this at the gym and it lasted here are some pictures so this is a before picture and this one is after working out for 30 minutes in a group training zumba for 30 more minutes and a personal working out for another 30 minutes i'm not saying i'm a gym buff but i was trying to super sweat it out that day just to really test how long the lipstick will last on my face even with all the sweat as you can see sobrang minimal lang yung changes i mean you can tell that i worked out and my hair is sweaty and all but i i still Still look pretty flushed and blooming in a way because the rosiness is still there it's still on my face and I feel like that's all that matters really you don't want to look pale while you're working out you still want to look like there's a healthy glow going on I don't really wear makeup on the gym but I would love some cheek and lip tint on my face because like I said I want to look alive I want to look like the blood is naturally flowing and I usually use lipsticks for that so here's how I ended up doing it. For the tutorial purposes, I applied some tinted moisturizer with concealer and I also did my brows. But normally, I would just put some moisturizer on my face so that I could blend it easier. So as you can see, I'm melting it on my hand just so that it's easier to blend on my cheeks. And the warmth of my hand and my fingers will make it even more softer to blend. <laughs> For the lips naman, I apply it directly from the tube and then I use my fingers to spread it around my lips even more. Um, it makes it more natural looking if I blend it with my fingers afterwards. I really like rubbing it deep in my lips because I want it to seem like it's my natural lip color. And at the same time, I don't like harsh lines around the lip area. Just clean off my face and that's it. I don't even powder and that's good for the day. So Sephora made me choose lipsticks from their website um, and I chose the color that I would use on a daily basis. So for the two most important ones, this Sephora lipstick is called Color Lip Last and it's matte. How, how would I describe it? It's like velvety matte-ish but it actually stays on your lips. So that's the beautiful thing about it. So you can still move your lips around like dab them together and all without feeling like they're gonna get stuck together so i really like that and at the same time it just looks so fresh especially this blooming rose color it looks so freaking fresh let me swatch it for you lang there you go it's a nice everyday lip color and this coral calling is a beautiful orange color so i use this on the, the cheek so it's a little orangey and i use blooming rose on my lip the orangeness of this color is just enough for me because i'm not really an orange lip kind of person but if they're this kind then i can wear it especially if they're matte the amazing thing about this sephora line is they have a lot of different colors and it's almost overwhelming for the price of this I don't know exactly the price but I will be showing you so it's very affordable and you have so much to choose from and I think that's amazing they are so easy to apply and they're right there you don't have to search for online shops to find really good ones when you already have these ones and you can use them for your cheeks those are my favorite out of all the bunch but they gave me some more lipsticks third lipstick that I got from them is this 3CE matte 
lip crayon um, I wasn't really familiar with the brand um, apparently it's a Korean brand this lip crayon naman, it's retractable so you don't have to sharpen it I got an orange color again there, so you can see it's just a more opaque orange. Um, this one feels a little dry on the lips, but it does last the whole day. I used this one time for clubbing and it lasted until the next morning. I don't have pictures of it, but ask mo sila Michelle D and sila James Byrne. They were asking me the whole night why I still look placado. The lipstick that I was wearing that night was this one and I really like it. I mean, I like the color of it and the lasting power, but I don't like the the dryness on the lips that I feel. But other than that, it's an okay lipstick. Next lipstick that I got is from Myronese. I don't know how. This one. I don't know how you say that. I'm so sorry. I think it's a Sephora brand. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this one is called Run the World Mini Size Collection. You can get them separately in the whole size. But I do suggest that you get this na lang because you get three colors in one pack for the price of. Uh, this one, naman, it, it's not as matte as I want to, but it does dry matte. The lasting power of this is not too long, but the color is nice. So it's an okay liquid lipstick, if you ask me. That's all I can say about it. This one also works for um, cheek tint. I used the pink one for my cheeks one time, and it lasted until the afternoon. But I guess I just didn't really sweat that day anyways but it definitely was very vibrant on my face so i always like using lipsticks as cheek colors so you guys should try that last but not least i wanted to try the sephora universal lip liner because it is colorless but you feel that there's something going on. It's like an invisible lip liner, basically. And you can use pretty much whatever color that you want. I haven't really tried this per se. It makes your like hand really matte. I mean, yeah. I wonder if I can use this for the nose. Because it, it feels super matte. I will try this as like a nose primer or something. And I will tell you guys about it. Because it feels super matte on the skin. I will try it. So if you like this look, na parang fresh lang, na everyday look. Parang alam mo ito yung itsura ng mga artista na pag hindi sila naka makeup, but they also want to have makeup on. This is what they do: a little blush and a little lip color, and they're done. I really suggest this if gusto niyo lang na fresh lang kayo, and at the same time, it will last you even if you sweat. Living in the Philippines, you know how hot it is and humid here. So I would suggest that you try using it in multi-purpose ways. I haven't really tried using it for the eyes, but I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys trying it on your cheeks other than your lips. It has been for years that people have been doing that. And so I do suggest that you guys try it. And at the same time, I'm so obsessed at how many colors there is that's available. I actually ordered more of these, but the one that I like, I think was not available. Because I was wanting something that wasn't available. Another color that lasts all day is this one. It's Sephora. This is the one that I used in my tutorial using the It Collection palette from Sephora. Oh, and this is a cream lip stain. This is the one that I ordered from them that didn't have the shade that I wanted anymore. But this one, I've been using this since Eat Bulaga days. This literally will last a long time on your lips coverage is great it's almost better than the other liquid lipsticks out there honestly it's velvety it's smooth it doesn't feel heavy this is amazing so if you guys would want a liquid version try the sephora lip stain but if you want a stick version that you can use for the cheeks as well then try the <laughs> lip blast so yeah that's it for a quick haul review and at the same time mini tutorial on these lipsticks that I got from Sephora. Guys, I'm too obsessed with this one. <laughs> you have no idea. Like, whenever I use this lipstick, they're always like, what color are you wearing? What lipstick is that? Is that this? Is that this? And I no, it's only Sephora. I feel like Sephora is so underrated because it's Sephora. People tend to look more for the brands inside the website when in fact Sephora themselves have great products. Good job, Sephora. <laughs> so, other than that, if you have any more questions regarding all the products that I have mentioned, please comment down below or message me on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and you can also follow me on Snapchat. All of the links and names will be down in the description box. So, with all that said, I want you guys to never forget that you are beautiful. <laughs> Bye!
Bye. God bless. So just for fun, here's some fast-forwarded video of me dancing in Zumba.